Okay, you moved to Ecuador, you decided to buy a car, or you bought a motorcycle, or you or bought a bicycle, a motorized or electric bicycle, and you have an accident. What are you going to do? When I come back, I'm going to tell you about the SPPAT program. You're going to like it. This is something that will impress you. Hey! Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. So I'm sitting here with my friend Carlos Ramirez from Blue Box Insurance. We've talked before. I interviewed you at your previous office, you know. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if I should take my hat and glasses off. My hair okay? <laughs> okay. All right. And we've talked before, and we're going to talk about something uh, a little specialized this time. I have an email here from a friend. He wrote, hi, Don. While I was walking this morning, a young girl handed me a leaflet from the government lasso. SPPAT, Servicio Publico para Pago de Accidente de Transito. Mm -hmm. Did you know about this info? I think it would be interesting information for your YouTube viewers. I took all the information below from the SPAT website. And, of course, it's just it's, it's what he captured off the website. And I thought... What better person to talk to than <laughs> Blue Box Insurance to talk about this program, SPAT program, and also if you have time, they'd like to talk about car insurance. Well, of course. Uh, a lot of, of people want to know about car insurance. So what is this SPAT program? Okay. Explain that to us, please. Okay. Well, like you say, is Servicio Público para Pago de Accidentes de Tránsito. That's the name in Spanish, you know, and was created by the government in 2015, okay? This is a mandatory insurance. All the cars, all the motorcycles in Ecuador that has registration already pay mm -hmm. for the SPAT. You know, then if it's mandatory every year on the registration, you are paying for that. Okay. I remember before uh, the government gave you a piece of paper that say SPAT, you know, but few years ago, they stopped to give you that. Okay. But everybody needs to know that you have this on, on each car or motorcycle in Ecuador. And why is very important to know that? Because, for example, you can have health insurance, you can have car insurance, but if you are involved in a car accident, the first payment comes from a spot. What I am trying to say. Let's think I am in my car, I have an accident, and I need medical assistance, mm -hmm. okay? My insurance not will start to pay directly. Why? Because it's a car accident. Yes. Then the SPAT, the government, will pay up to $3,000 okay. for medical needs done, you know? Mm -hmm. Just for medical needs, because sometimes people think that the SPAT also can pay for a damage, a body work on the car, you know, car damage. No, they only will pay for medical in case of ambulance, in case of accidental death and disability. Okay. Mm -hmm. To give you an idea, disability, $5,000, okay? Life, $5,000, okay? A funeral expenses, $400, ambulance, $200 and medical assistance, $3,000. Okay. That's how the SPAT works. Then, it's very important if, if, if an expat, if a foreigner, if somebody was hit by a car, you know, if the ambulance comes, it's very important that the clinic know that you comes from a car accident. You know why? Sure. Because many clinics in Ecuador, a lot of clinics in Ecuador, when, when they you know that it's a SPAT, they will report directly to the SPAT office the medical expenses. Okay. Other times, you need to pay, okay, up front. But you can request a reimbursement, okay? okay? To the SPAT office, what do, you, what do you need to request a reimbursement? Of course, clinic history to prove that you was traded on the clinic for a, for a car accident. The 008 form, that is the form that normally the emergency room gives you, okay? Yeah, yeah. The invoices, 
okay? The report from the police, because normally the police will make a report. You need all those documents together and you present to the SPAT office can take around three months, got your money back. It's the, it's the government, you know? Sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> but can be covered, will be covered, and if the medical need is more than $3,000, then your private insurance will start to pay, your car insurance that includes medical uh, coverage also can pay, but the main payment, the main coverage in a car accident comes from SPAC. That is the mandatory insurance. So I know the first question somebody's going to ask me, where does this money come from, the money that's being, that's paying for this SPAC program? Mm -hmm. Does it come from the registration when you register your car? Mm -hmm. we're, on, we're, not, we're not making monthly premiums. We're not paying. Yeah. It just it comes with the registration on the car. Yes. For example, if I take a look how much I will pay next year for my car registration, there is the detail about how much is the spot, but it's included on your okay. yearly payment. Okay. You know, right. I remember probably 10 years ago, you know, uh, you was be able to buy the spot. For example, you can come to a broker office and pay for the spot, just for the spot. Mm -hmm. But then many people stop to pay it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. In Ecuador, anything is possible and nothing sure. is for sure. Yeah. One of my clients say, you know. Yeah. <laughs> then, Everything's possible, then, nothing for sure. <laughs> then the government includes on your registration. Yeah. And you, many times, you don't know that you are paying that, you know. Yeah. But it's included. Okay. Then everybody's paying on the registration for the spot. Okay, well, that's a good, I think that's a great program. We don't, I don't think we have anything like that in the States. So that leads me to the next topic, car insurance. You still need to buy car insurance here, right? It's not mandatory though, right? Not, not it's mandatory, but well, you, you can drive uh, safe, you know, because you need to know that in Ecuador, only 20% of the cars are insured. What happens if somebody hit your car, yeah. not has insurance, not has money, you know? Yeah. You will be involved in a legal process, you know? <laughs> Yeah, then sure. if you have your own insurance, no matter the circumstances, no matter if somebody hits me or if I hit another car, the insurance company will pay, you know, then you can solve many problems keeping insurance on your car, you know, yeah. because will be easy. On car insurance normally includes civil liability, you know, if you, if you yeah. hit another car, the insurance company will pay 100% mm -hmm. for the repairs on the other car. We offer 50,000 civil liability in our contracts, you know. Normally the companies offer 30,000, 25,000, but we include 50,000 civil liability, medical expenses, lawyer assistance, you know, mm -hmm. in case that you have an accident and they you need a lawyer, you, yeah, you know. Yeah. It's include lawyer assistance, road assistance, fuel, you know, low battery service, then it's, it's pretty important. And the premiums not are really higher. It's pretty reasonable, the, the cost of the okay, so car insurance. As you know, I'm in the process of shopping for a car. I'm going to buy a car. And I'm obviously going to need insurance. What can I'm a 71-year-old single male and an old man driving a car, <laughs> what can I expect to pay for a car insurance? Or let's say I buy a reasonable, a $20,000 car. Yeah. Does that even make any difference what I pay for the car? Or does that make any difference as well, far as how much my insurance is going to cost? Or does it, do they even care? You need, you need to know, uh, for example, the rate will be determined depending on different factors. Mm -hmm. One is how old is the car? You are going to buy a brand new car. Yeah. The rate is less, less you know? Okay. Then, what's the year of the car? What kind of car is? Uh, what kind of use you will give to the car? Because somebody buy cars and they try to do <laughs> like taxi services, yeah. you know? Yeah. You need, in that case, you need a commercial insurance, sure. you know? when it's, sure particular when you will drive your car and that's it, uso particular, 
but if, if you will drive uh, making other things, uso comercial, commercial use, you know? Yeah. Then all those factors will determine what's the rate. Another important thing, 10 years used cars is really easy to insure it mm -hmm. until 10 years. From 10 to 15, your rates will be a little higher. Yep. From 15 to 20 years old, only civil liability and total loss, no okay. comprehensive coverage. Then people, the people that are thinking in buy a car can focus on 10 years old cars, no okay. more, you know, because it will be easy to repair, easy to insure, easy to maintenance, you know, mm -hmm. Th that, that can be. Uh, so in my case, I'm gonna have a new car, 2023, mm -hmm. I'm going to be using it just for own personal use, driving around the Monte, driving up and down the coast, doing my work that I do. Mm -hmm. You know, what what is reasonable for me to expect to pay for, uh, for insurance, insurance on that car? Full coverage insurance. Okay. Let I know me. people are going to ask. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the first question people are going to ask. <laughs> How much is it going to cost? Okay. $20,000. The, the cost of the car, mm -hmm. the insurance can be around five hundred eighty dollars okay. per year. That's pretty reasonable, you know. And also, if you pay cash, the insurance company gave you discounts. Mm -hmm. Our office also offer discounts for cash payment for car insurance, you know. And it's a comprehensive coverage, you know, own damage, medical assistance, lawyer assistance, road well, assistance, full coverage insurance, full comprehensive coverage. Okay. Also includes a. Uh, uh, a coverage called Amparo Patrimonial, what you know? <laughs> what is that? In, in Ecuador, it's available, include that coverage, Amparo Patrimonial, and what that means, no matter the circumstance of the accident, will be paid. Okay. What I am trying to say, if somebody is driving drunk, for example, okay. you know, is covered. Why? Because you include the Amparo Patrimonial. It's the coverage for your patrimonio, for your car, okay. no matter who is driving, if not has driver license, oh, is, okay. if your driver license expires, you know, not is a reason to refuse a claim, you know. Okay. Then many people in Ecuador include the Amparo Patrimonial, that is a, a, an extra rate that you mm -hmm. can include. Sure. Also, you can include a substitute car, yeah. you know, in case of an accident, the company gave you a car until yours is repaired. Okay. Then all, all those things can increase a little bit the premium, but you can be completely protected yeah. in case, you know. Excuse me. Now, what about my age? Will that have any impact on the cost of my insurance? No, 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 no. The age is not, not, not uh, something that can affect because primarily the company will see what kind of car it is, the year of the car. Sure. The cost of the it car. It seems like they're more concerned about the car than they are the person driving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But also in Ecuador now, uh, it's available a system, an Ecuadorian website, okay, where the insurance companies now can see what kind of driver you are. You know, okay. what I am trying to say, if I had an accident this year, another accident next year, probably in three years, you not will and found a company. Build on a record. Yeah. Or, yeah. exactly, now you are under a record yeah. and, and the companies can see what kind of driver you are. Then, I think that in a few years, that will affect also to the rates in Ecuador, you know? So, so, in order for me to buy insurance, what do I need to bring to my agent, other than money? Okay. <laughs> I mean, do I have to have a background check? Yeah, this is a good question, but in your case, Don, for example, brand new car, not necessarily inspected. Okay. We need only the invoice, and we need to know when the car will be out of the dealership. Okay. Right. Then, with the, with the invoice, plus, of course, your personal documents, like cedula, plus a utility bill, the contract is ready. Okay. When the contract is ready, you can go ahead and pay. Now, what happens with used cars? Mm -hmm. With the used cars, we need to inspect the car, take yeah. some pictures, you know, yeah. take the mileage picture. Just, just for the benefit of my audience, you're saying a used car, a, a pre-owned car. You're saying used car, and I had a hard time understanding what you meant, but I understand now. Okay. Just for clarification, we're talking about a pre-owned car. 
Uh -huh. Okay, all right, mm -hmm. go ahead, I'm sorry. And well, for that kind of cars, we need inspect it. Yeah. We need inspect it, we need verify the mileage, you know. Also, something very important for, for the people that is watching the video, it's very important in Ecuador report if in your car you have extras. What is an extra? Different radio, oh, yeah. different rims, different tires, you know, halogenos, mm -hmm. different kind of things. That is an extra. Okay. And you need to report to the company with the real cost of each item, sure. you know, because... You're talking about add-on, people stuff that... Modifications, exactly like in the performance exhaust system mm -hmm. and stuff like. Okay, it's very important because if you, for example, you has a different rims on your car and mm -hmm. you never reported that to the company, and you had an accident, yeah. the company not will cover your they rims. Cover that. Yeah. Of course, they will cover the original rim that right. the car comes from the dealership. Yeah. But this one, no. Then it's very important report to the company. Okay, my rims cost $1,000, my radio cost $600, you know, mm -hmm. then you are completely covered. And if something happens with your stuff, it's covered. Yeah. Uh, of course, and since this is Ecuador, don't forget about those 15-inch speakers that uh, <laughs> everybody puts in the back of their cars. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, is that is that a gold piece? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what you gonna do with that? It's <laughs> for... <laughs> It, it comes from Spain. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes with oh, me yeah. e everywhere. Like the lion. What is, what is the lion? You don't want to put that over there. <laughs> <laughs> it goes very expensive. Man, you know? If somebody stole the, the phone, they will you would take an extra money. You would be losing that gold piece. <laughs> All, All right. right. So, so for expats coming to Monta and they need to buy a car and they want to buy insurance, where do they go to buy insurance? To our office. There you yeah. go. <laughs> Blue Box. Blue, Blue Box. Box. <laughs> you would say that. Yeah. Blue Box is the best Blue place Box. to buy any kind of insurance. We offer 23 kind of insurance. But okay. talking a little bit about cars is also important. Uh, explain a little bit about process to buy a car. If you give me a few sure. minutes. Absolutely. Because it's really important. Sometimes people come to Ecuador and, well, people will be surprised about the, about the price for a used car. You know, mm -hmm. because... A uh, five, seven years old car can be expensive in sure. Ecuador, you know? Sure. But many times, many times when expats go to buy cars, people give you gringo prices, you know? And that's something real here. Yeah. Yeah. Then, if somebody will buy a car, take a look to Patio Tuerca. I will give you the link mm -hmm. and you, will, you can include on, on the description, on the video description. But Patio Tuerca is a page where you can see the prices for all the cars in Ecuador. Then you will keep in mind a reference, you know? Sure. If a Chevrolet Grand Vitara 2015, the reference cost can be, I don't know, 16,000. Then when you go to buy a car, they not will charge you or overcharge you the price. Sure. You know, they not will ask you 20, you know? Then a good, a very good option to verify cost of cars in Ecuador, Patio Tuerca, okay? After that, when you go to negotiate a, a car, be sure about tickets, about restrictions. Yeah. Why? Because sometimes cars on the registration say, no, no es posible la venta. That means not possible to sell it, you know? Then be sure about that, be sure about tickets, be sure about registration yeah. because all this information is on the website. If mm -hmm. you put the plate number on the INT A -N -T website, you can see how much is the payment for matricula, if the car has mm -hmm. tickets, speeding tickets, then it's pretty important to verify everything. And the most important for me is the mechanical inspection, my friend. Yeah. Why? Because people will try to sell the car, you know, and nobody knows if the engine is in good condition, you know, yeah. the gearbox is in good condition. Then, very, very important, inspect the car in a good place with a good mechanic. Yeah. We also offer a service to buy used cars, you mm -hmm. know, and why we started to offer the service for that kind of problems, because people overcharge to the expert the cost of cars. Yeah. Then we, we can help also to buy cars to to, to the people here in Ecuador. We already comes with 
two cars from, from Cuenca for two clients here in Manta. This is another good, good option. You know, if you will buy a used car, try to buy it in Cuenca, in Quito. Mm -hmm. Why? For the corrosion here. Yeah, you know, corrosion, in Manta yeah. is a lot of corrosion. Oh, yeah. sure. So then used cars here, probably not in the same conditions that same car coming from Cuenca, from Quito. Now, is it safe to buy a new car here, here yeah. in Manta? Yeah, yeah. because a, a new car comes with warranty, you know, everything. They also, do they undercoat the cars yes. here? Yes, okay. yes. Right. You know, then you can prevent, you can take care of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, when I go shopping, I'm taking my good friend from Jet Cooperative, my banker, he's going to go with me and help me pick a car and help me negotiate. And he's yeah. Ecuadorian and it's speaks a good idea. English, and I can understand him and he understands me. And, it's a good idea. It's yeah. a good idea if, if somebody will go to see like you. Yeah. Go with a friend. Sure. An Ecuadorian Absolutely. friend that will help you to understand everything. Yes. Because also the dealership can tell you, hey, don't, your car will be ready next week. And not will be next week, probably will be one month, uh -huh. you know? <laughs> <laughs> Is that for real? I mean, it's for real. If I went it's by myself real. or if I go with my Ecuadorian friend, I'm going to let him do all the talking. Yeah. You yeah, know, he knows what I want, and I'm gonna tell him in the face. Yeah, and, and I know I know people from Cuenca, for example, that they ordered the car. The dealership told in one month some special cars, especially cars yeah, that special not are available yeah. uh, frequently. You yeah. know, because if I buy a, a regular car, a Chevrolet, it's easy because it's available. Yeah. But sometimes when you need to import the car, oof, can take a long time. three months, yeah. four months. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm, I'm going to go with what's in stock, right? Yeah, <laughs> this one. Give yeah. me this I'm one. Right there. <laughs> okay, I don't know what else we could talk about in return. Other than <laughs> I tell my subscribers if they have any questions, I'm going to put Blue Box Insurance in the description. It's going to be right here on the video. Everybody's going to, there's not going to be any question about who to contact when they need to start talking about uh, car insurance. I'm going to tell them, don't have a car here without insurance. There's no way. No, no, no. And, it's, and, and, and the reason, and considering the fact that in the United States, car insurance for me would probably be a couple thousand dollars a year. Easy. Oh. You know, just because of my age. Yeah. So, you know, don't, don't come to Ecuador without and don't come to Ecuador and buy a car and not have insurance. That That's yeah. just stupid. That can solve many, many problems. You know, no matter if somebody hit your car and leave the place, you yeah. don't will need to follow him, you know. Just to stop, report your claim, and we'll be covered. You know, it's easy. It's, it's, it's different kind of insurance available. You know, you can choose the best one. Try to choose a good company. That's That's also a good point, because some companies... Uh, can take too much time and pay claims, for example. But you know, you know reputable who, companies you know as well. Who, yeah, who, yeah. We, okay. we work normally with the top five companies, okay. the yeah. best companies, and and well, we we offer the best the best options for car insurance. But like you say, it's a really really good idea. If you will buy a car, insure it. Okay. Insure it. One last question. I'm driving down the road in my new car. And I pull over and take pictures. Somebody pulls up behind me and robs me of all my camera gear. Is there any insurance that would cover the loss of my gear? But you lose, you lose your yeah, self or you lose take, the car? They say they take my camera, oh. rob me of my camera. Oh. And they take all that away from me. No, no fortunately, no, no, because, uh, for example, computers, PCs, cameras, Cell phones not, not, not are covered out of your place. Okay. In your place, yes. Okay. If something, in your same example, the guy n not, not will take your camera, but take your car, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. covered. Okay. You, need, you need to say, hey, keep, take the car. Sure, sure. Yeah. Let me, the let car, me keep yeah. the, the camera. Yeah. Take the car. <laughs> you can have the car. <laughs> hey, here's the keys. <laughs> Okay, well, listen, thank you so much. This has been a pleasure. It's always great talking to you, and uh, I definitely will tell everybody, everybody knows that I only recommend the best, you know. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, too, Dom. And, and if somebody needs information about 
well, know a little bit more about SPAT, if need information about car insurance or process to buy a car here in Ecuador or any kind of insurance because we offer 23 sure. kind of insurance, contact to us, contact to me. I will be happy to, to help. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and it goes without mentioning that you not only do you sell car insurance, but you sell health insurance too. Health, so life, everybody knows. I, personal accidents. I tell everybody my travel. private insurance comes from Blue Box. My everybody pleasure, knows. sir. My pleasure to be here with you. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. So that's it. That's my talk with Carlos Ramirez at Blue Box Insurance. He is the expert here about all things insurance. If you need to talk about health insurance, car insurance, medical insurance, any kind of insurance. Carlos is the guy to talk to. I've enjoyed my relationship with him ever since the day I met him. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comment section or you can send me an email. If you want to have further discussion about anything that I do in my videos, send me your phone number and an email and I'll call you. I'll help you the best that I can. If you like this channel, Please subscribe. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, ciao, ciao. name some people give me your thoughts okay Justin Bieber <laughs> <laughs>